It is the dawn of a new era in Illinois politics and the end of a 40-year reign. House lawmakers elected West Suburban Representative Emanuel Chris Welch, the new Speaker of the House, ousting Mike Madigan from the role he's held for four decades. Let's get right to CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov. Dana, this could, could mean business as usual is going to change in Springfield. It's a possibility, Brad. Now, the election of a new House Speaker in the state of Illinois is significant for many reasons. For one, and this is very important, Speaker Welch is the first black Speaker of the House in the state's history. And number two, his election could signal a new spirit of cooperation in the harshly divided House, and that could directly impact the state's residents. Emmanuel. Chris Welch has been elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. Representative Emanuel Chris Welch took over the House Speaker's gavel with a 70 to 44 vote. Congratulations. He got 10 more votes than needed after weeks of backroom negotiations and hours after now former House Speaker Mike Madigan formally stepped aside. Today will be the last time I talk about us as Democrats or Republicans because I want to talk about us being united. Speaker Welch's talk of bipartisan cooperation comes after four decades of Madigan's iron fist rule, where Madigan controlled House proceedings, Democratic Party purse strings, who got elected, and what legislation moved forward. Is he going to control the legislative process like Speaker Madigan did, or is he going to be more open, more collaborative? Is he going to allow Republicans to be involved? There's no question partisanship bitterness exists in the state house. It intensified after Madigan's connection to the ComEd bribery scandal came to light. This is Mr. Welch. Welch chaired the House's special investigation committee about Madigan and was accused of going easy on the ex-speaker. But I am extending the olive branch of cooperation starting today. That from Republican House Leader Jim Durkin, a sign things truly may change. What specifically might voters, residents see under a new leader? You might see a greater diversity of uh, ideas coming through and being considered meaningfully through committee structure and, and on the floor of the, of the House. But um, Moreover, I, I think you might see different people choosing to insert themselves into state politics. In the short term, Pat Brady says Welch will have his hands full. Speaker Welch is going to have to lead the legislative effort on behalf of the Democrats. This is going to be a very, very difficult session where the Democrats are going to have to make a lot of tough decisions on cutting spending and maybe even raising taxes. Also during his first speech as House Speaker, Welch thanked Mike Madigan for his service. Mike Madigan received a standing ovation from House Democrats. He was there. He was present. He voted for Speaker Welch. Brad. All right, so Dana, beyond today's potentially kind of kumbaya moment, let's move beyond it. Speaker Welch begins his historic role under kind of a dual cloud politically that he's a Madigan lieutenant. He's a Madigan guy in essence, and personally a past domestic abuse viola uh, violence allegation. Yeah, that, and he addressed that. He was asked about that this afternoon, and he addressed that. He said that incident was about 20 years ago. He says that people change and mature uh, over time, which in indicated he has. It did, though, cause one Democratic lawmaker to vote present during today's vote. But there are some political consultants who believe this could come back to haunt him next year, which is an election year. Brad? Let's see how it plays out. CBS2 investigator Dana Kozlov. Dana, thank you.